entire army will be trapped. Do this, do that. Who do you think you are telling me what to do? What do you know about fighting and slaughter and bloodshed? Your gibberish won't win a battle, you useless old man. A useless old man? Liu I can no longer put up with your arrogance. I tried to warn you that this castle can't withstand an attack, but you wouldn't listen. Farewell. Water? Of course. Cao Cao won't attack. If he has to use boats, his troops would be too vulnerable. Flood the moat! Liu Bei! It's me, Li. What did you learn? We managed to bribe a few of their sentries. It seems that there's a great deal of dissatisfaction among Liu Pu's troops and that they might be close to mutiny. Wonderful. Well, don't keep us waiting. What did you find out about Li Hua? Where is she? According to our report, she's there, being held as a prisoner. In Salpei Castle? I'm afraid so. Liu Pu, we must talk. Show yourself. Well, what do you want? Why must we engage in battle? Why not be allies instead? I will welcome you with open arms if you throw down your weapons and swear your allegiance to me. If you choose to oppose me, you will die without glory, branded as a rebel and a traitor. But I think of you as a national hero who slew the dictator Tong Zhuo for the good of his country. Join forces with me and together we can build a new dynasty. Huh? Don't you understand? He's offering you a bribe. Now that the advantage is on your side, he'll say anything to get it back. Cao Cao, your words of peace are just another form of attack. We shall send you our answer as swiftly as the flight of an arrow. Arrow? <laughs> Ching Dong! By the heavens and all that's holy, I swear that someday I'll see your head roll for what you've done. Fall back! Fall back! Yu Pu was a fool not to accept he's going to get us all killed. Unless we find a way to stop him. It says here they want to surrender. A white flag at dawn will be the signal to lower the drawbridge. It could be Lupu's doing, my lord. He set traps for you before. According to the information that we've received, there's a great deal of dissension among Lupu's troops at this time. I believe their offer to surrender is genuine, sir. I agree. It's a risk worth taking. We attack at dawn. <laughs> oh, what do you think oh, you're doing? You'll lose your heads for this, I promise you. That's the signal! Forward! spared my life, so now I'll return the favor. I need no favors from you. Now fight! Right now, I have more important things to do. Li Hua. Come on, right. Oh, on your feet. 
Betrayed, how fitting. Commander Cao Cao, I would consider it a favor if you'd loosen these ropes. I can't breathe. One doesn't loosen the bonds of a tiger. Have some compassion for a fellow warrior. <laughs> Have you any favors to ask, Cheng Gong? I don't expect compassion or mercy from the likes of you, Cao Cao, for I know that you're a man with no heart. I knew that rescuing you was the greatest mistake of my life, and now I'm going to pay for it. Ha! On the contrary, it would appear that your greatest mistake was choosing to serve Liu Pu. Liu Pu's like a child who must get what he wants, while you, on the other hand, are a deceitful, cold-blooded barbarian. An interesting theory, old friend. And because we were friends once, I shall allow you to live. All you have to do is apologize, Jing Gong. Well? That I will never do. I'd rather lose my head. Do you mean what you say? I'd prefer to die that way than die of shame. Enough. Farewell, Tao Tao. Cheng Gong! Cheng Gong! Cheng Gong! Cheng Gong! It's not too late. Apologize and I will spare you. Together we can accomplish so much. A simple apology is that beneath your dignity? Please, Cheng Gong, I'm begging you, apologize! Dignity is all I have left. anything with your wisdom and leadership and my skill as a warrior there isn't anyone who could stand in our way i beg you you sound please, like Lord. a frightened child you poo have you no pride stop your whining and die like a man you idiot i'm a hero and heroes never die do you hear never there is no man who can match me there never has been there never will be <laughs> ah! Ah! Lord Cao Cao, General Chang Liao is a man of honor and of noble character. I beg you to pardon him. I agree with Quan Yu. It is my wish that he be spared, General Cao Cao. Mine too. Sir. Let me... 
me die. I'd rather die an honorable death than apologize. You needn't fear being dishonored. You needn't apologize or surrender, for you are no longer my prisoner, but in the custody of Quan Yu. Here, put this on. Quan Yu, I... <laughs> What's wrong, my brother? After all we've done, after all the battles we've fought, what have we accomplished? I wonder... How long will it take? to fulfill the oath we made in the peach orchard. Many alliances would be formed and broken, and many battles were yet to be fought between those who sought to rule China. Cao Cao in Luoyang, Yun Shao in Qichou, Liu Biao in Qinzhou, and Sun Tzu in Wu. All would play a part in the epic story of the Romance of the Three Kingdoms.